my Toastmasters journey started in that room nearly eight years ago. I can thank Toastmaster Dan Wallace for dragging me here. I'm not a morning person. Never have been, probably never will be, except for Friday mornings at frickin' breakfast. Gotta cook the stuff. But that's the conclusion of my speech. When I came here, it was just like it is today. Crowded room except smaller room, so therefore more crowded. And I laughed for 90 minutes. It cost $5 back then, inflation. It cost $5 back then to get in for the best comedy show ever. I don't know how long it took me to come back a second time, probably a whole week. <laughs> and for $5, I got to laugh for another 90 minutes. And I didn't quite understand the rules. You come three times, they ask you to join. And you're supposed to just say yes. So I came back and I was asked to join, and I said yes. I didn't realize it was gonna cost me $100. $100, I scraped my pennies together, I took care of it. So now I had to come back, and I did. For the first two years, my reputation was Tim was hiding in the corner. Tim wasn't really part of the group. I was here to laugh and not speak. Like most of us, we're back here hiding from table topics. But then I started getting involved. And about two or three years ago, I really got involved. I was an area director. I became a board member. And it got into my blood. And now I love Toastmasters. I miss very few weeks. I only miss a week if I'm out of town on vacation. And I've actually, like Carmelo, have moved my vacation around in order not to miss a meeting. I've come back from vacation early, stayed late, and so on. So my journey as a Toastmaster should be what your journey is, to be all you can be. Don't ask what Toastmasters can do for you. <laughs> ask what you can do for Toastmasters. Thank you.